Greetings humans, this is Aramis from Our Chill Archives and today we're going to, well, not we, I am going to draw on the first page of this sketchbook. Now, I know what you're thinking, Aramis, you're just drawing on the first page of the sketchbook when you're halfway done with it. Well, you see, the thing is, I've been wanting to draw on the first page. But I've, I wanted to film drawing on the first page. But because I was filming all the other videos, I didn't come around to drawing on the first page. But I still wanted to draw in the sketchbook because my other sketchbook had finished. So... I'm only now drawing on the first page. So... I have a reference picture. And... Originally, I was going to draw Raven, but I kind of did a bit of a redesign of my own avatar. So I'm thinking about just drawing myself. The problem with drawing myself, though, is that I find that no matter how I draw myself I'm always not satisfied with it because I'm not sure I think it's probably because every time I draw myself people always complain that oh your hair is supposed to be curlier Oh, you're supposed to be fatter! How dare you not draw yourself fat? Which, honestly, I'm not fat, so I don't know why I get that critique so often. I mean, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm, I'm not fat. <laughs> but I always get those kinds of criticisms and a lot of people say that this doesn't look like me but I think it looks really close to how I look and especially because the outfit the new outfit that I'm wearing in this that I'm using in this um, drawing is one that I wear fairly often because it's really comfortable and I like that shirt. I don't know, I like the, the redesign. It's not too fancy, but it's, it's pretty much what I, what I wanted. Now normally I don't put the number of the sketchbook for the reason that if you've seen my sketchbook tours I mentioned that um, I don't number my sketchbooks based on when I start them but when I finish them but because I really really want to finish this book fairly quickly and I mean I'm halfway done and it's, it's been about a month. I think I... I think I'm gonna finish this one before I finish, um... <sighs> so I have some small sketchbooks that I do practice of. I'm looking for the... My, the reference for me. Because <laughs> I'm really bad at drawing curly hair. But... What was I saying? <laughs> I always forget what I'm saying. Oh yeah, so I have like another sketchbook that and I sometimes use that one when I'm working out when I'm like roughing out character designs and stuff. So I don't know when that is going to finish because in the sketchbook I did before this I didn't want to use it to rough out designs because I wanted to take advantage of the fact that it was my first mixed media sketchbook. So I did. And I did a lot of watercolor and all of that. And I didn't want to quote unquote 
waste the paper trying to trying to um, figure out characters. So I instead man, I'm not getting these glasses. You know what? The entire angle is off. That's why. Yeah, so I instead had a inferior quality sketchbook where I would do a lot of those roughing out sketches and I haven't finished that one yet. I don't know when I'll finish it. Okay, so the thing is I think my eyes are pretty small. Like, they look big sometimes because of the glasses, but my eyes are pretty small. I notice that a lot when, when people see me without my glasses, they're kind of shocked at how tiny my eyes are. So, trying to... I'm actually drawing them a bit bigger than I normally would draw just because it's the front page. I love glasses on people. But for the life of me, I cannot draw them. I filled pages and pages of just trying to draw glasses on heads. I couldn't do it. Do you know what? We'll leave it like that. Definitely leave it like that. So the outfit that I've been drawing myself in lately is this sleeveless hoodie. And of course my signature blue cap that I wear all the time. That looks awful. I'm really bad at drawing hats as well. I just... I just can't get these things. Let me try drawing the hair. Maybe if I draw the hair... I'll be able to get this better. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, this is the outfit. Um, Another one of the criticisms I always get whenever I draw myself is that the hair should be curlier, except one, that's only sometimes, <laughs> and two, I just, I can't draw curly hair, so. This is a, my avatar is one of the characters with the curliest hair, so, yeah. And right now my hair is not as long as this, but it's getting there. Now for the inking portion, and of course I'm gonna use my Tombow for the Nosuke brush pen. I like using brush pens, and I find this is probably the most versatile pen I have so far because for instance the Pentel sign brush pens they disintegrate in water they just disappear so I can't I could only use them if I'm going to alcohol and then one of my waterproof pens doesn't work well with alcohol so this is the only one that works pretty well with both alcohol and watercolor and since I plan to use watercolor in the background I'm using this just to make sure that everything works together I'll use alcohol markers for for myself and then watercolor for the background. Yeah, even left this page blank in case this bled onto this page. Most likely what I'll do is I'll take one of the drawings that I do on like 
loose sheets of paper and just stick it on the back. I have a few of those in here. Uh, I'll show you this one since this was in the prang review. Both of these were in the prang review. So I usually just stick them in the sketchbook. And when my hair gets really long, it gets really wild. <laughs> We're talking about sometimes I will wake up and my hair would be curling in another direction, in, in one direction. And then when I wake up the next morning, it's curling in the other direction. That's not how hair usually works. But my hair is like that. I don't know why it's like that, but that's just how it is. This pen is starting to run out of ink because I use it so much. It's a good thing I recently bought another one of these online. So I had a feeling it was going to run out. I use that pen like every day because I prefer the softer brush. I find I have too much control when I use a harder brush. And I like how... I like thick lines, but I also like how variations look. And I find that my hand, because I've, d because when I was practicing to draw, especially in the beginning, I realized that my hand was not steady. So I did a lot of practice with line work and stuff, especially with draw box. And my hand became so steady that now I find even with using the Apple Pencil I just can't get the line variation because I would increase the sensitivity and increase the brush size and then draw a line and the line would look perfectly straight with no variation in the weight. So on the one hand I did notice that drawing hundreds and hundreds of lines and boxes did help with my overall line quality. You, you guys probably wouldn't know that because I didn't post anything from my very earliest practice, but it did help a lot with the quality of my lines, but now I don't have that shaky variation that I like in a lot of other artworks. So, And that's actually a problem I have with the Apple Pencil. I find that it's way to it's it's not sensitive enough i like my pens more sensitive because then i get more of what i want okay so the the line work is done i'm going to erase it and then these lovely things will be used to color it and my skin I, I have a close skin tone in this but I might end up using one of the skin tones in this set we'll see and then I have a, a bit of a custom watercolor palette that I'll end up using for the background and then we'll call it a day honestly this drawing actually came out a lot better than I expected and I drew it a lot faster than I expected. So maybe all my drawing practice has been paying off. So normally I don't do a whole lot of shading in this sketchbook um, because this is sketch paper. It's 100 GSM but it's not really made for like markers and watercolor and stuff so it can handle a fair amount of water but it can't handle layers like when you put down that first layer it's going to handle it but if you put down a second layer it's not going to so you kind of have to try to get the variation and color that you want in that first layer and even for markers i find that okay especially because the, the paper is cream like this is white and this is cream that also affects it so, that means, swatch shot, that means that I might have to be a bit more careful. So, yeah, let's try 
64 and 71 for this cap. And the light is coming this way. So, yeah. Okay, so here's a problem with what I just did. I was supposed to use the cool gray 7 for a bit of the highlights, but I picked up the wrong color and it was a green gray 7. Which means everything that naturally would come out darker on this paper came out even darker. <sighs> well, it was already done. I'm just going to have to roll with it. So, let me... Do this small strip for my blue glasses. And then now it's just to do my hair, my skin, and the seven. Okay, so that's not the smoothest shading I've ever done, but I'm gonna blame part of that on just the paper. <laughs> Look at that bleed through. Oh man. Oh. I don't think I chose my right skin colors because normally I have a much warmer skin tone, but because the colors look different on the white paper to the yellow paper, kind of expected to not get exactly the colors I wanted. It's just what's going to happen. So now I have to do the seven and I'm trying to decide what color. Originally I was going to go for like a yellow and orange, but I'm also kind of wondering if I should go for like a, a red. The thing is I rarely use yellow and orange so I think I'll go with the yellow and orange. And just hope they work because here's the thing. I realized that I wasn't using a whole lot of yellows and oranges and stuff, so I started designing characters with those colors. Only to realize that you get very little oranges in marker packs. So now I have characters with their main color being orange and not as many markers to use for them. So like these two aren't blending but I don't- I have one other orange but it's dark so I can't use that. And the other yellows are too light probably should have tried to use those instead. Mistakes were definitely made in this drawing. <laughs> yeah, it's not even looking yellow and orange. But again, I'm gonna blame that on the paper because I'm gonna blame everything on the paper. And I'm trying to decide if to use this dark brown because my hair is dark brown. Or if I should use like a warm grey 6. My hair mainly looks black even though it, it's dark brown. But so I'll just go with this warm grey. I was actually wondering if you know, when I was designing this version of my avatar because this looks different than the, the one I used for my YouTube profile at the moment. I was wondering if the colors were too dark, but these I mainly wear black, so so it makes sense. I think in one of my stories uh, in Undata, the series I'm currently working on finishing, 
that one, Logan, he, he ah, I forgot I was supposed to use this as a shading and use a lighter color for the highlights. Oh well. Anyway, so Logan only wears like black, gray, and gray because he finds it easier to coordinate his clothes because everything matches if it's all one color. So people always make fun of him and Ari and say that their romance is a match made in fashion hell because neither one of them have any style. Okay, so that's my character. Now for the background. This is this is where I'm gonna have a bit of a problem because normally I like to do dark backgrounds but also normally I don't have all these dark colors but because this one is a lighter color I'm not sure what yes I'm drinking tea I'm not sure what color to use so let's open the watercolor palette see if we get any inspiration so this watercolor palette it's the Winsor Newton brush pen set even though the brush pen sucks and then these I explained this in another video but these three were refilled all of these and these three are the Meaden tube watercolors because I really really like the Meaden tube watercolors I think I think they're one of the better watercolors they're re-wet even easier than the Winsor and Newton and I paid more for I paid more for these 12 colors so I would consider them 11 because white and I got 24 colors in the tube set and I like the tube set better so now I just keep refilling these are the colors I have I'm wondering if I should do ah I know I have an idea of what to do kind of kind of we'll see how it works I recently um, I've, re I've recently been watching more like tutorial videos on colors and uh, stuff. C Cesar Cordovo, I think, where he was showing how to make blue out of green and purple and explaining why it works and stuff. And in one of Ahmed Alduri's video videos, he was showing how to use lighting in a way that even if it's it doesn't really make sense it would look good and one of the things he was saying is to invert the lighting so because this top area has lighter colors this and here have darker colors we'll invert that even though the light technically is supposed to be coming from here but we'll invert it and have the background being dark on top here and light at the bottom and that's what I think I'm, I'm gonna try to do. So, you know what? I forgot the palette. Hold on. Okay, so this is going to warp like crazy because it's not. It's sketchbook paper. It's normal sketchbook paper. I will. You could see the warping, but I don't mind warping in sketchbooks. I think it makes the sketchbook look used. And while I could have used just markers to do this the entire background i find well one i like the watercolor how watercolor looks i really like watercolors but also i find that markers just don't really do all that well with um large areas so we're going to start off with like a pinkish color down at the bottom here. Oops. And then we'll move up to like a dark bluish purple at the top. And we'll see how that works. I've also considered starting with a red, but I really love this rose color. Probably should have gone with the red. But anyway, we already started.
Okay, there we have it. The first page. Totally messed up on the background. Uh, in the... Wow, that's some serious bleed through. But anyway, in, in the camera right now, I'm seeing that it, the colors are looking a lot lighter than they are in real life. I think I went too dark with the background and that I should have picked a different color. It just doesn't look good. I made a mistake. I've never claimed to be very good at picking colors. I should have gone with a green or blue, something cooler in the background instead of something warm to contrast with this. Uh, but what you're going to do? It's just a sketchbook. If I hate, if I really hate it, which I don't, I can always just stick something over it. But I'm not going to, because I actually kind of like it, but also kind of don't. Um, I'm definitely gonna stick. Th this is a weird first page. I'm gonna stick these two together and draw on this page. Draw on those pages. I just didn't want to risk it bleeding straight through onto this side. But yes, there we have it. Page, the first page of this sketchbook. This new sketchbook, sketchbook, oops. Sketchbook number seven that I am making an absolute mess of. You know, they say you're supposed to be free in your sketchbook and it will trust me. I've been really free in this one. I've been experimenting and messing up pages, ripping them by accident. I'm actually having really fun in this sketchbook. I think you guys would like this sketchbook, even though I probably like the drawings in the other sketchbook more, just because it handled the watercolor and stuff better. But you should get a sketchbook tour of this one pretty soon, hopefully in June, there will be a sketchbook tour of this. Two new sketchbook tours, I'm filming this May 19th, when you see this, It'll probably be after I upload this, um, the tours of Sketchbook 5 and 6. 6 is the one that you would have seen on my channel before. Bef before this, before I started this one. Those would be up and some other videos. So if you want to see more art, you can check them out. If you want to see writing videos, because I'm finishing up a finale and documenting the process, the finale of a series. And I'm also outlining another series and I'm going to be doing more writing vlogs on my process and I'm, I'm really messing this up. So for the sake of this painting, I think we should just end it here and let it dry. So subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you in another video. Later.